What's up everybody, Pastor Yon coming to you with our daily video update, coming to you right from our, our main auditorium space where all that Sunday morning magic happens, where that live stream magic happens. We got Pastor Dan's TV right over here. We got uh, Pastor Jonathan and Megan's audio setup where they produce and provide that great music, all sorts of other stuff that you can't see that goes into making a great live stream. But uh, I gotta tell you, every single Sunday when I'm here, it's pretty depressing being one of the like, two people in this giant room. Really the only thing that changes is the, or hasn't changed is the fact that nobody laughs at Pastor Dan's jokes, uh, even now. But we are looking forward to when we can get together. But as we know that that day may not be coming uh, to us anytime soon. So we got a little prolonged absence from seeing each other face to face so what we wanted to do as a north central church family is not just spend all of our time obviously um, working on our sunday morning stream but connecting people throughout the week we know our women's bible studies are up and running on zoom weekly so that is great if you are not connected there get connected there ladies and we also want to provide another environment another opportunity for everybody regardless of your age your gender whatever it is we want to provide an opportunity for you to get together and connect with your local church family around some really great content so we're going to marry our great resources that we get from the bible project with our digital platform of zoom and we're going to create a space for us to connect around some gospel center content and to check in with each other and connect over that. So if you don't know, one of the things that the Bible Project has done since the start of this pandemic is release something that they call Church at Home. And it is a packet of resources based around a single theme for every single week. So they provide some videos, a write-up, a little podcast, and some discussion questions that are related to the scriptural passages that they connect with um, so that there's there's a theme and a topic that you can discuss so we do it we've recommended doing it with your families if you've seen that in the past um, but also we want to recommend that we're going to do this as a church family if it's good enough for our church our homes uh, our families at home it's good enough for our church family to get together and have a conversation around that so starting next week wednesday april 15th we are going to get together as a church family to discuss this great content now to, to, in order there's probably a lot of questions running through your mind but step number one in in this is answering the question how do i get access to those resources to the bible project church at home resources so we're going to start there all right continue watching this video you're going to see a screen recording that i put together that'll walk you through step by step to help you get access to those resources so watch that and then on the other side of that video we'll have a more conversation about how to connect with zoom and what this is going to look like enjoy the video step by step bible project coming up Signing up for the Bible Project Church at Home resources, you're going to see this link right here, right in the comment section, right beneath us. So go ahead, click on it anywhere, and it will pop right over into a new window. Here's the Bible Project Church at Home website. Um, you can see if you actually want, if you have someone who speaks Spanish, right there, get some Spanish stuff. You can sign up right there. But for those of us who are speaking English, scroll on down. You can get a little idea of what each email will contain right here. You've got the Bible Project video. There'll be a short audio podcast from Tim Mackey, who is the, he's got his PhD in Old Testament theology. He's the founder of the Bible Project. There's a three to five scripture readings and there's six to eight discussion questions every single week. So that's what is involved in your weekly church at home. You can scroll right down here, click on this email. This is the most important part right here. Put your email in there, pop it in, make sure you click submit. It'll spin a little bit, and if you see this right here, that means you are all set. You're not gonna see anything in your inbox right away, but that will populate every single week when those resources become uh, available. So let's take a look at what these Church at Home resources kind of look like. The best part is they've been doing this for three weeks so far, so if you want to get a good idea, um, you can see week number one, they focus on the topic of generosity right there. Week number two was the Sabbath. And week number three was the gospel of the kingdom. So all you do is click on that gospel of the kingdom and it will take you right over to that week's content. You can see a short little write up here. You can see another little extended write up giving you some context around the videos and the Bible passages. Here's your three minute and 45 second um, 
recorded this is Tim podcast. At the Bible Project. This coming weekend begins. There Christian. you go. Right there on your computer. And then you can take a look at the video. Just click right here. You can play the video. As you can see, it is a five-minute video. Full There's of great this beautiful content. Poem. It's in the book of Isaiah. The city of Jerusalem has there just go. been... Beautiful the- animation. Great theology. And if you're really interested, this part right here, I mean, it's almost like a gateway drug to all sorts of systematic theology and great videos there. But you go down a little bit further, you can see your discussion questions right here. You can see the cool part is if you just click on the Bible verse and you click over here on the more button, you're going to see it'll just bring that Bible verse right up. You don't even need to leave to a different screen. I know Pastor Dan might be a little upset because he loves that hard copy Bible, but here it is. Ease of use right there for you. And so these are some of the discussion questions that we will be uh, exploring in our Zoom call every single week. So that is what your church at home content looks like. Um, All sorts of stuff that's going to hit your inbox every single week as we learn and grow to Look at that. Pretty simple, right? Not difficult at all to get access to those incredible resources from your Bible Project Church at home. So now we figured that out. Another thing you might be asking yourself is the big question around what is Zoom? How do I get connected to Zoom? I'm afraid of technology. I've never done this before. All legitimate questions. We want you to put your mind and your heart at ease. Um, because we are going to provide you some resources here in the coming weeks that are going to help you connect to Zoom. We're going to help some videos on how to even connect to a meeting, how to join your audio, uh, what does the layout look like. And let me just put your mind at ease because last week I walked my father through using Zoom, so he is now teaching his classes, his college classes on Zoom. So if he can do it, you can do it, all right? So um, don't worry about that piece. I'm committed to being tech support. If I need to call you, you need to call me. We'll walk you through it. You got a little bit over a week to do it and we'll test it out to make sure that you're all set up. So you're gonna get those resources. We're gonna push those out to you in the next coming week leading up to next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, Wednesday, April 15th, we're gonna get together, Zoom, we're gonna have a conversation and we're gonna connect over this content. The only caveat is, You got to watch the stuff. You got to engage the stuff, right? Don't just show up just to say hi. Um, Show up ready to contribute to the discipleship of somebody else by engaging that content, by letting it kind of work on your heart and let the Holy Spirit speak to you so that you can speak life into others as we push forward. So we want to connect, but we want to connect over the good news of Jesus and what the Holy Spirit is doing in our hearts through this content and through this uh, experience in this pandemic. So that's the only caveat as we go forward. But... Look for that stuff coming down the pipe. We will see you next Wednesday, April 15th on this Zoom class. If you have any questions, reach out. But as of for now, we love you. We're praying for you. And we are looking forward to having this room full of everybody who called North Central Church home. And even those of you who want to get newly connected with us when we get back together. Love you. Praying for you. Have a great week.